that the the dangerous areas for Donald Trump or what they thought would be dangerous areas for him turned out to be areas where he was able to literally manipulate so the audience was cheering him. And by the way, this wasn't an audience that was all Trump supporters. This is Republican primary voters. But I think that what Donald Trump did last night was what he did to 17 others on a presidential Republican primary in 2016. He literally leveled everyone out. And I think Trump established himself as a Republican presidential candidate for 2024. The questions on Ukraine, Russia were very smart in the primary, could be very, very beneficial to him in a general, but then the CIA is going to rip his throat out because they're making a fortune over there and it's a proxy war. They're trying to destroy the Russian state. Do you think that could be an issue? You know, I think that the American people have already seen what the CIA is capable of. And we saw it, that they did, they made a political play themselves when they had 51 of them signed on to say that the Hunter's laptop was Russian disinformation. And now they admit it. Mike Morell is admitting it, that they wanted to give uh, uh, Joe Biden a talking point. But I have to tell you, Jesse, and, and I thought your open was great, that, that Donald Trump came out. He was confident. He was unflinching. He was unafraid. He came out calm. He was in control of that room. He literally steamrolled Caitlin yeah. Collins. And then when you allow him to stand up in that town hall format, that really shows the energy that he has, especially when you contrast that with Joe Biden. Right. The, the, the interrupting, the, the constant need to, to do the fact checking. Do you think they're going to be able to keep that up? It's annoying as a viewer. Yeah, it's very annoying. Because they don't do it with Democrats. They don't do it with Democrats. But you see, that's what the liberals do. And that's the reaction afterwards. It's like, why did they turn it off? Why did they do it in the first place? So the left is furious. And, you know, some people on the right who moved on are furious. But here is a president who's been through so much since he left office. I mean, think about all the things that's happened to him. He comes out with more verve, more energy than the president of the United States. He wants to talk about issues like the economy inflation, energy independence, the border. And they want to talk about, just as you said in your open, all the old issues. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, this was a win for Donald it Trump sure was. last night. I think it's going to give him a little momentum going into the summer, Judge. Yeah, Thank without you so a doubt. Much.